Hello and welcome to another edition of Fix 64. I'm Darren Hadley and today we are looking at the ID Sonics D7450 M.2 SSD. It's PCIe 4. This one's one terabyte and read speeds up to 7450 megabits per second. It looks like a very nice drive, and I'd like to thank ID Sonics for sending it over. I was originally going to do a complete build with this, but I kept having problems with the motherboard, and I have one on order. So in order to get this video done, I'm going to break out the old Minis Forum UM890 Pro and put it in this, since I currently don't have a drive in here. I have 16 gigs of RAM in here, but yeah, I'm missing this. So, we'll put it in there and we will do some tests and we'll see what we got. All right, let's uh, unbox this. Like I said, it's 7450 megabits per second read. Write speeds up to 5,000. And it's 3D NAND uh, TLC technology. PCIe Gen 4x4. It's uh, an industrial SSD with a heatsink. It's good for PCs, laptops, and desktop, and also PS5. Very nice. Comes with a screw, documentation, the drive itself, and a copper sleeve. And a screwdriver. It's uh, got enhanced data uh, or integrity and stability. Feels nice. There's the thermal pad and sleeve. It's always fun to watch me put those on. And yeah, the uh, copper sleeve or they call it a vest also. It has a silicon thermal pad. There's graphene on the drive itself. And it has a low heat controller, which helps also. So between all of this, should be a fairly cool running drive. It's got a five year service uh, warranty the uh, yeah this is the one terabyte version so it's 7400 megabits per second 5000 megs right two terabyte is 7400 and 6600 megabits per second right and four terabytes is 74 and 6600 megabits per second also right And like I said before, it's compatible with uh, all computers that take, you know, NVMe M.2 SSDs and PS5. So let's uh, let's open up the computer. Which is real easy. And these four screws. Okay, so I'm take out these four screws really fast, and this will just get us right into the mini PC to install the ID Sonics.
I love this particular computer too. It's super fast, so it'll be the perfect thing to test this driving. This screw always likes to mess with me. There we go. Okay, and very carefully place that over there. Now, <coughs> there are thermal pads under here. And kind of a heat plate system. So, but you know what? I think it'll still fit in there with the copper uh, sleeve or vest, as they call it. So let's let's try it with that anyway. As you can see, we have our Oculink card in the other slot and nothing here and 16 gigs around there. Okay. Oop. A little far over there and let's just put it on the drive. Just have the worst time with my thermal pads. Okay, and just line the sleeve up with where the screw goes and simply press down. There we go. And it's got a screw in it already so we can pop that out and then simply line up the notch and put it in And I hope this works with this. No, that's going to be too, too tall. Darn, I really wanted to use that copper vest oh can't see it stuck to the previous pad anyway <laughs> so yeah don't uh, don't use these if you already have a set up for that. Uh, yeah, that should keep it plenty cool anyway. It has a whole heat system with the fan. So we tried. Probably just tore all the wires out. Yeah, I did actually. Okay. Anyway, we still have the graphene. We have a thick thermal pad. We should be okay. You know, and a lot of motherboards now also have the built-in heat sinks. So, the one I was going to use, that didn't end up working, had a huge heat sink on it, so, and the thermal pad. There's plenty of situations where you don't, though, and you need that copper sleeve.
there. Okay, that's installed. Now let's uh, format the new drive and get Windows on it. Okay, I'm back and I have the Windows install USB in. And let's see what we got. Looks like it's going to boot into the install. Very nice. I already have a key assigned to this computer, so skip all that. Okay, finds finds the ID Sonics, nine fifty three point nine gigabytes. I got a partition. Now usually you can just hit next also and it'll do everything. Okay, and then we will install on partition three disk zero. Okay, I think we're good to go. I will be back when Windows is installed and we will try some speed tests on it. Alright, I have installed Windows and all the drivers and updated. And right there's ID Sonics, finds the disk drive, everything's running snappy. So I will get Crystal Disk Mark on here and we will test it out. Okay, let's launch that. And let's try it. Should be somewhere around 7,000 and 5,000. Yes, very good. Very good. Okay, let's Go to an 8 gig test. Oop, I accidentally stopped it. Wow. Very good. This is performing very well. Okay, let's go 32. Nice. Very good. And oh yeah, we're gonna wait for it. There. And last sixty four gigs. Ah, very good. And now for the right. This thing is great for Gaming, content creation, and with its enhanced thermal management, it's really good for industrial application. So, very good. Alrighty. So yeah, if you want one of these, uh, make sure you le or look for a link in the description. This is a nice. Uh, replacement drive for this particular computer too. I love it. I've needed something in here for a while now and this fits the bill. I'd like to thank ID Sonics for sending this over and for letting me test it and play with it and install it and unbox it. And I would like to thank my viewers and my subscribers and if you like what you see 
and you want to see the next video and be notified, please click the bell button. And I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.